I was 33 years old when I was diagnosed with uh, cancer for the first time. The chemotherapy that was used to treat my cancer, it was a very, very strong. I was very, very susceptible to any, any type of infection and any infection could become very, very severe and kill me. I couldn't have gone through that treatment without antibiotics, without effective antibiotics avail being available to me. So antimicrobial resistance occurs when the drugs that we give to fight infection are no longer effective. And, and sometimes patients can die as a result of antimicrobial resistance. Cancer patients tend to be most vulnerable. In places like Botswana, where I am currently, it's even more of a challenge because it depends on what antibiotics is in stock. Hygiene, sanitation, um, access to clean water is important. And then also increasing the rates of vaccinations to prevent some of these infections in the first place is critical for addressing antimicrobial resistance. And I think it's going to be an even bigger challenge for those of us in the cancer community because how we treat patients who are affected with cancer is going to be severely impaired. I got cancer, that was bad luck. But AMR is not bad luck. We can prevent it by only using antibiotics when they need to be used. And we can give the future patients, future generations, our children, grandchildren, the opportunity to get life-saving treatment. <laughs>